Here we are, going up the road, passing the trail that goes up the dial Nipple Top Mountains. And our trail will be going off the right here shortly. Right after this, maybe 100 yards or so. And here we are, about 100 yards later or so. And up on the bridge with the sign to Wolf Jaws and some other places. Across this. It's pretty narrow. Let's take me to the other side and then I'll switch into my snowshoes. Those bridges are a little bit narrow with snowshoes on. <clears throat> I'll slow down there for a minute. Here we are at the turning point. We're on the West River Trail, but on this way, nobody really goes this way during the winter. Let's do if I come up here to go to the Wolf Jaws. It'll take us up this way. And we'll start gaining some real elevation here pretty soon. All right, here we are. It's be a 3,500 foot mark here. Uh, we have an old camping sign. Okay, here we are on our trail split. <clears throat> and like the sign says, a little wolf jaw notch and upper wolf jaw that way. You can also get the lower wolf jaw that way, but it's a little bit longer. What we'll do is take this trail right behind the sign, and that will take us up to a lower wolf jaw. Summit of lower wolf jaw at 11.48. So starting at 8.04, so it's uh, three hours, 45 minutes. That's not bad. I'm happy with that. Some beautiful views today. Can't beat this, not a cloud in the sky. About halfway down uh, lower wolf jaw and looking over at upper wolf jaw across the waves. Still have to go way down in the valley and then up there. That will be our next stop. Here we are at the trail junction uh, going to upper wolf jaw back down to All Sable Club parking lot that way. See lower wolf jaw. They just came down. That would be right up this trail. Right now, we're going to head this way over to Upper Wolf Jaw So we are part way up upper wolf jaw and that is lower wolf jaw there. I first went up and came down. And that's a pretty steep one right there. Our actual summit of uh, <clears throat> upper wolf jaw. Not much here, not really any views, but This is it. It's getting a little chilly on the way up in the shade on the northern side over there and windy, so I stopped and put my uh, Archo jacket on. Warmed up nicely. It's doing perfect. And I'll take a little break here in a minute when we get a, 
a view on their side and then we'll head up to Armstrong. Doing pretty good. So there's lower wolf jaw. Went down there and up. Upper wolf jaw right there. And once they came down that and up to where we're at right now, which is part way, maybe a third of the way to Armstrong Mountain. Oh, a great day. And across the way, you can see Newmark Mountain there. A big bear area right there. There was a, about 20 years ago, there was a big fire. It's uh, about a month ago or so that we went across that. Went up this ridge here, up the Dial Mountain and both that mountain so we did those about a month ago or so the one way in the back that's dix mountain and leave up there in the background is the summit of armstrong mountain and that's where we'll be headed here in a minute Alright, just getting to the summit of Armstrong. Last peak of the day. Got some really great views up here on this one. Sky, not all day. Yeah, this wind. We'll get out of the wind a different direction. all downhill from here and here we are so we have 5.4 miles to go to the car okay short little break and we're out of here Up Gothics, but if I hadn't been sick the last two weeks, I'd go up there. Okay, our last little video of the trip here. This is the Beaver Meadow Falls Trail I'm from the Gothics Armstrong Snow Junction. This part right here, which is quite steep, this area 
tends to want to funnel you off the trail and down this cliff. So if you were on this section of trail, be careful. Thank <laughs> you.